morning everyone my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome back to my channel I am so excited to, because today we are gonna play around with a little bit of Tom Ford makeup specifically I was asked if I would um, show me using the Tom Ford traceless foundation stick so you guys this these guys have been my what I would consider my most used foundation in all of my routine. This is just the one that I use um, when in doubt, this is what I'm gonna do. So when I want my skin to look really perfected or just on my day to day, um, you know, I need something quick and I know it's gonna look good. This is what I go to. I absolutely love it. And I currently have it in shades 5.5 Bisque which I'm wearing today, as well as Sable in 6.5. 6 um, but what I wanted to tell you is, so when I was on Sephora, um, I noticed that they had some new Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick Color. So now what I'm realizing is that they now have a matte finish stick versus the natural finish. So what I have is the natural finish. And now they have ivory silk and rose, warm sand, nude ivory, bone, champagne, cool almond, warm honey, cool dusk, and warm nutmeg. So they have a new matte traceless foundation stick. So this is quite interesting. Um, I am absolutely in love with my natural finish. Like this is part of the reason I love it so much. So let me just give you a quick swatch of my bisque that I'm currently have on my face as well as sable, okay? so. This right here is my bisque, and this is sable. I'm going to take a quick picture. Um, you guys, the sable is a little bit warmer, as you can see. The bisque is just kind of more of a neutral, which I absolutely love. But, okay, so I was thinking, ooh, I've got a new shade um, to go by, but I really kind of like this finish the best. So I'm probably not going to, I will check that out, but I tend to really like this natural, a little bit more dewy finish. So today, if you wanna see how I got this look, I am using mostly Tom Ford um, products along with the white suede palette that still is available on the Tom Ford website. I'm using the beautiful sublimate shade in illuminate blush um, and a few other fun Tom Ford goodies. Um, if you're interested in seeing how I got this kind of a uh, kind of little dewy glossy look today, then keep on watching. Okay guys, let's dive in. I am going to start by using my, I'm kind of hesitant to use the word, word holy grail, but honestly, I love my Tom Ford Traceless Stick Foundation, um, and it is always in my rotation. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna be using it in the shade 5.5 Bis. The way that I like to use this, you guys, is literally, I just, do some slicks through my, just on my skin. And I apologize, you guys. My 5.5 is very well loved, but I feel like this bisque is my color. Pretty good match for me right now. Maybe a tad warm, bit warm. And then I'm going to be taking my Westman Atelier buffing brush. I also like to use my It Cosmetics um, Heavenly Complexion brush. So just whatever your favorite brush is, but I like having a little bit of a dense um, buffing brush. And then I literally just go through 
anyways these this is what I use pretty much like um, when I know I need good coverage and um, I just want my skin to look perfected but I also just find it super easy for most mornings um, so this is obviously I like all sorts of foundations but this is one that I literally um, go to all the time and for lots of different reasons too so the other night we had to go to a dinner and I just wanted to make sure I was um, you know that my skin looked at its peak <laughs> um, and so I always pull that out the the stick um, and also this is kind of my go-to if I don't have a lot of time in the morning I also like to use this guy um, for that because it just melds into my skin so you guys I am going to come up show you the coverage so far but the thing that I like about this you guys were asking between this and the vanish and I guess what I would tell you is I think this has a second skin appearance that has it's a little bit more dewy um, whereas I love the full coverage of the vanish but I don't think of it as totally second skin whereas this you guys um, it literally melds into your skin and gives you kind of I hope you can see but it gives you a little radiant glow so it just makes you look like you have healthy skin which is always what I am trying to go for um, and again I am loving this color in bisque but now I've got to go check out these other colors because who knows there may be one that's a little better match and again I just buff this into the skin um, really quickly. And you guys, I'm not going to overdo it today with foundation. So let's, we'll, we'll <laughs> let me take a couple pictures here for you. But I just want to give you a close up shot here. Okay. Let's move on and do get ready. I am going to try to use mostly Tom Ford products today, but a few things, one thing hasn't shown up yet, so I will do another video with a lot of Tom Ford. Um, next, I am going to use my Westman Atelier Contour Trace Stick in Biscuit, and I um, use this a little bit like bronzer, and I'm just going to slightly contour my face, get rid, kind of um, make my big honker, uh, <laughs> get rid of my double chin a little bit underneath here. And then you guys, again, I am going to be using, this is one of my favorite brushes. I absolutely love the Westman Atelier uh, blender brush. It is so awesome. Um, now, one thing you guys have got me intrigued by is uh, the Tom Ford bronzer brush. But now that it is synthetic, um, I'm just wondering if it is worth the money because these are synthetic from um, Westman Atelier, much kinder. Um, but they do have kind of a bronzing brush that is... Uh, still not cheap but cheaper than um, the bronzer brush from Tom Ford so anyways I have not found my favorite bronzing brush yet so I am on the hunt and then I also heard that there's this elf um, brush that's like $12 that is um, a dupe <laughs> I'm gonna check that one out too. Okay, you guys, I have just warmed up my skin here, and then we're gonna move on to the Sublimate. Um, this is a shade in Illuminate um, blush and bronzer, I mean bronzer, highlighter. This is just gorgeous. And for this, I'm gonna be using my little complexion brush and just dab that onto the cheek. So I know in the pan, it looks bright. It's definitely um, a rosy, uh, but it's going to melt in. So just bear with me. 
So when I'm using the cream stick, I do have to say I love to use cream on cream. I just find that those are the days where I have that kind of um, healthy skin look. Um, and we're gonna top a little bit of bronzer on top of this, but um, that's powder that I wanna try. But anyways, this is just such a pretty blush. And what you can see is um, it, you can sheer it out, okay? So even though it looks like a very deep uh, berry here in the pan, you can definitely shear this out. Um, and I just think it's beautiful. Now, this guy, I absolutely love my Westman Atelier um, Super Loaded Highlighter in Peau de Peche. So, but this is slightly different, you guys. It's got a little bit, let's do a little swatch for you guys. So let's see if it'll come off. It's kind of got that glossy skin effect versus the other one has a little bit of bronze in it. So both of these, you guys, if you can see, they're very sheer, okay? So this, if you can see here in the pan, see they have a really nice consistency. And then this is the berry shade and the blush, and then this is the highlight. So don't be scared of this. At first I was like, ooh, I need to get the lighter shade. Um, but honestly, these are just so gorgeous and I really like them. So I'm just gonna take that highlighter and I'm going to tap it on top of my cheek. So can you see this? This just gives you that a little bit of that glossy skin look up on the high points of your cheekbones. Um, and if you want, you can do a little bit on the bridge of the nose. Um, I don't have any lips, so it doesn't really, <laughs> that's not quite. Oh, so you guys here already, you're gonna see that this is a glossier skin look. Um, and the thing is, is that as this kind of all melds into your skin, it just looks gorgeous like throughout the day. So um, again, I'm loving this really beautiful compact. Um, and they do have another shade. Um, I kind of feel like they might be coming out with some new ones. Um, okay, then to that, um, I do have to tell you, you guys did convince me on getting the Terra. <laughs> um, the infamous be all end all um, bronzer and you said to get the the smaller one that was like the original powder version so i had to order that off of tom ford and it is coming but it's been delayed so i'm hoping that it actually shows up but when i was looking at temptalia you guys they can they'll give you kind of dupes of things that are similar and they actually said that this tart um, Park Avenue Princess had similar tone, not exactly the same as Tara, but since I have a sample, I thought I would go ahead and use it. And real quick, you guys, I like to use my bronzer as my transition shade. So I'm going to go ahead and start to give a little bit of definition through my eyes with the same bronzer um, shade. So I am just taking a Wayne Goss number 17 and just slightly going through and starting to give my eyes a little definition um, with the bronzer. I just tend to like to do that even when I'm using other shadow. Um, be, it just kind of gives a little continuity. And on a quick and easy day, you guys, I would just use my bronzer as my eyeshadow um, and then put a little eye eyeliner and mascara and run out the door. Okay. So I'm going to be using my um, sort of bronze and sculpt from Charlotte Tilbury, and we're going to put a little bit of this bronzer on um, my cheeks here. Let's see. So since this is similar, you guys, um, I will link that Temptalia. I really like to always look there. It doesn't mean that I'm always going to buy the dupe but I like to see what is similar and they have it like it's 95% similar or 70% similar. Um, that they were just saying these two are close in the tone of Tara. Um, all of my favorite peeps that Tara tends to be their Holy Grail bronzer. And if that's theirs, I'm kind of surprised I haven't bought it yet. <laughs> I have thought about it many a time. Um, okay. 
you guys putting on a little I think that's a very pretty bronzer by the way um and um so anyways we use this a little bit next thing I'm going to do you guys is um I am going to go the Tom Ford white suede um this eyeshadow palette you guys it is so pretty but I was so excited because you can still buy this at Tom Ford so when I was buying the bronzer I saw that you could still buy this and you guys I would I have to say every time I wear this I get a compliment on my eyes and um, these shades are a little bit outside of my normal kind of warm look and I just absolutely love it. This is a stunner. It totally transforms your eyes. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I'm gonna do a quick little eye look with this um, while we're here. So um, just go ahead and watch real quick. <laughs> how the Tom Ford foundation just sort of melts into the skin um, and again it is going to be slightly dewy I tend not to powder this particular foundation down but please feel free I don't feel like it transfers around versus where my stick I definitely had transfer um, this could but I just tend to when I'm actually wearing this day to day this is just the way that I wear it and then I thought we would go ahead and slick on a little bit of Sugar Glider, which is my absolute uh, kind of favorite Tom Ford. Uh, this is the one. I just think it's a really pretty kind of, it still is leaning on that mauve, um, but it is just one of my favorite lipsticks ever. It is getting very well loved. <laughs> Um, but the one thing I am laughing about since I have been wearing my Invisalign, I am finding that I really do kind of need to wear lighter shades of lipstick. And a lot of my lipsticks, when I think of nude lipsticks, is a little bit deeper than my current lip color. So, um, but I'm finding anytime I do that, they just immediately get on my trays. And so, this is giving me an excuse to purchase a few lighter, kind of going ahead and trying some of the ones that I would used to think would, would make me look dead. Um, so for example, I pulled out Spiced Pea Honey that came um, in this little, one of those little um, in Nordstrom Anniversary. And this one to me is just a little bit peachy colored. I tend to like more pink, but they've got a couple lighter ones that I have been very curious about. Um, so I'm having a little fun. So we may have a, an Invisalign 
lipstick extravaganza with a little bit of lighter shades. I'm probably still gonna have to wear a little bit of lip liner just to so my lips don't completely disappear into my head. <laughs> um, but you guys, this is the final look using mostly Tom Ford products. Excuse me. Um, and I hope this was helpful, but yes, this is what the Tom Ford stick looks like. Um, and again, I'm going to take a couple close-up photos so you can actually see it uh, just a little bit closer. So please don't be scared. Um, and I hope this was helpful. I've got a few more really fun videos coming up for you. So as always, thank you for watching. You are wonderful.